Hello and welcome to Living Word, growing a family that experiences every promise of God. You're listening to another life-changing word from Pastor Kelly Anderson. For more information, visit our website at livingwordonline.com. The scripture that I that the Lord laid upon my heart for tonight is in Ephesians in chapter 4 and verse 3. And it says this, make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. I was thinking about huh, our holiday here, the 4th of July. And what the Lord was kind of revealing to me as I was thinking about the United States of America, you know, that they could have easily named us the States of America, but our forefathers named us the United States of America. And I believe when they called us the United States of America, they spoke a prophetic word in that moment. Many, many hundreds of years ago, when they spoke that word, they spoke that word for us today, that we are to unite together, that it says in the word to make every effort, every effort to be in unity and peace through the bond of peace. He gives us a solution. The unity comes when we step into peace. And you can have that peace flowing through you every moment of your life because Jesus resides on the inside of you and He is your Prince of Peace. You know, when Jesus was in a storm, He spoke to that storm and He said, peace. And that storm calmed at the mere mention of peace coming out of His mouth. He spoke it and it happened. And let me tell you something, we have something very powerful we can do as believers. We can speak peace over our nation. With our mouth, we can proclaim peace and, and expect that peace to come, that we can be united in this time, in this era that we live in. We are the United States of America and we are bonded with the love of Jesus and the peace that he brings. You know that when Jesus was out in that storm and he said peace to that storm, he was trying to get to the other side. And on the other side was a man that was demon possessed. And again, what was he trying to do in that moment? To bring that man peace. He was coming to restore his life. And I believe that God is restoring our nation, that Jesus is restoring and he's restoring it through the conduit of peace. So I was just wondering if we can just gather together right now and just proclaim peace over our nation in the name of Jesus. I declare peace, I declare unity. I thank you, Lord, that we can unify in the spirit through the bond of peace. And now let's do this declaration together as a church family, as we're going to collect our tithes and offerings. This is the prayer, this is a declaration of prayer that we do. It'll be on the screen for you. Let's all say together, I thank you, Lord, that as your word is declared today, healing is coming to my body, to my heart, and to my family. I am free from fear, addictions, and poverty. Your peace, joy, and love are flooding my soul. I am blessed. I am highly favored. I believe, receive, and act upon your word and all of this by the strength of Christ within me. In Jesus' name, amen. 